Manchester United took on Crystal Palace in a preseason friendly on Tuesday morning. Manchester United defender Harry Maguire was booed by his own supporters during the early stages of Monday's preseason friendly meeting with Crystal Palace. The England ace was selected to start alongside Victor Lindelof at the back for the Red Devils, who were watched by a capacity crowd at the Melbourne Cricket Ground in Australia. Not everybody in attendance was fully supportive of Maguire, though, with the 29-year-old clearly still a divisive figure among the club's fanbase. He was roundly booed as his name was read out by the stadium announcer before kick-off and was also met with jeers as he took his first touches of the ball under the lights in Melbourne. The boos continued to ring out every time Maguire was in possession during the opening few minutes of the match. With the United fans in the stands obviously not impressed with the former Leicester City man. He was eventually cheered for shepherding the ball out of play, a moment which marked his first defensive contribution against Palace. Maguire was ridiculed by United supporters on a number of occasions over the course of last season and it seems as though some hard feelings remain in spite of the new campaign being only a matter of weeks away. Eric Ten Hag recently insisted that Maguire will retain the captaincy at Old Trafford in spite of his apparent unpopularity before suggesting that he will most likely be a regular starter once again when the on-pitch action resumes in early August. I think he is, Ten Hag told reporters earlier this week when quizzed on whether Maguire is still an important player for United. He's proved it in the past but he also has to prove it in the present time and in the future. He has played how many times? 60 times for England? He is a career that is really impressive and I expect a lot from him. But there is also internal competition and that is what a club like Man United needs. You cannot win with 11 players. We need a squad, especially this season with so many games. We have the Europa League, at the weekend the Premier League and the World Cup so we need a full squad with high quality players, not...